My name is Professor Stephen Whittle. I'm a lecturer at Manchester Metropolitan University. I'm different because I'm a trans man. A trans man is somebody who is transvestite, transsexual or transgender who was born female-bodied, in other words, labelled a girl at birth. When I was young, I knew that I was different, but I didn't know in what way I was different. I'd really desired many of the clothes that my brother wore, and I hated a lot of the stuff that my mother wore. We had school sports day, girls' races and boys' races, and it was like a flash of light on the road to Damascus. It literally came to me that I was always going to be in the wrong race. But when I was 17, I went to the doctors about a minor sore throat and sat in the waiting room reading the magazines and the story was about a female to male transsexual and I knew that, that was the answer. I told my parents about what I wanted to do. They found it very, very distressing. I was really quite estranged from my family for several years. So I was taking hormones. I had a big bushy beard out here. To the outside world, I looked like a man as long as I kept my breast bound. But in the bedroom, it was different. I felt ashamed of myself when I looked in the mirror. I felt appalled at what I was doing to myself. I had a couple of bad times when I did seriously try to commit suicide. I met my wife Sarah in 1978. I told her, you know, I've not had any surgery, she said, I know. And I've got this dreadful looking body, she said, I'm sure it's not. And gradually, she helped me explore my own body. It was the start of my life. The surgery that I had was five operations to create a penis and testicles, and I was over the moon. To have the bulge in my pants, even my mother said to me, she said, um, no, I wasn't too sure about you having all this surgery, but uh, your trousers hang better. <laughs> in 1990, Sarah said she wanted to have children. We were not legally able to get married until 2005. It meant that Sarah and I were going to apply to have fertility treatment as if we were a lesbian couple. Eleanor was conceived. We had another son after that, Gabriel. And then we had a final session of fertility treatment where in fact Sarah conceived the twins, Lizzie and Pippa. And we were able to then explain that Daddy had, didn't have any sperm, so they were donor insemination. And then we were able to go back further and explain why Daddy didn't have any sperm. And they just took it like that. Transsexual became a normal part of their word. Would I have wanted to have been born a boy? No, because it gave me a whole set of life experiences that have enriched my later life and for which I'm very, very grateful. So they were good things, really, in the end. Fairness is everyone's right. To find out more, visit www.equalityhumanrights.com. Equally Different, a campaign by the Equality and Human Rights Commission.